Welcome, everybody. My name is Brian Wilson, General Manager at uh, Pure Gold Mine. I want to tell you a little bit of a story of the journey that we're on. I've uh, been in the industry for about 38 years, 37 years this year, and I'd like to see everybody here today. And uh, we've got a lot of friends sitting in the, in the audience, too, so thanks for showing up, guys. When you, when you talk about an asset, an operating asset, uh, there's really three the big things that you're looking at. You're looking at the uh, infrastructure, obviously the resource, and the people. And I don't think we put enough uh, emphasis on the people. And uh, you'll see, I apologize, the screen's a little dark, but uh, you'll see some of the people here. So who we are, Pure Gold's a Canadian gold mining company. We're Canadian owned. We're located in the heart of uh, Red Lake. Who we are, we're a principled and ethical company who want to be good neighbors. We're committed to our people. We're about 274 people strong. We're committed to safety, training, culture, good salaries, benefits for our workers. We're committed to our community. About 55% of the uh, people at our workforce are from uh, Red Lake and surrounding area. We're committed to strong, lasting economic benefits and our, committee, our community and uh, development. We're committed to the environment, meeting and exceeding our standards. The next chapter in uh, the Red Lake history, we own about 47 square kilometers of real estate in uh, the Red Lake area. We've uh, got 20, 20 current growth projects, uh, targets, and uh, we have seven different structures within that. We're uh, largely untapped. This is an old mine. It closed in about 1976. In 1976, they weren't doing the diamond drilling uh, that, we're, that we're currently doing and will continue to do, but there's lots of uh, undrilled territory in, in around our 47 kilometers. We've a uh, data-rich technical foundation. We've drilled about 60,000 meters in the last uh, seven or eight months uh, underground up there. And uh, we've just recently published a new uh, resource uh, model. And uh, we're sitting on about 100, uh, 1.5, 1.65 million ounces of gold underground at uh, 7.4 gram. We do have an operating mill up there. We're pouring gold every week right now. We have a strong foundation for future growth. Um, we're really uh, we're going to publish another feasibility study in uh, the th fourth quarter of this year. Uh, that's why the resource model was just uh, published a couple of weeks ago. We've got really four zones within that mine. Sorry, five zones within that mine, that operating mine that we have. We've got the McVeigh one and two. We've got the Austin and South Austin. And we're really transitioning out of the McVeigh. We do still have mining in the McVeigh. We're transitioning out of the McVeigh and um, moving more towards the Austin and South Austin. Uh, the month of August, we're probably about 75% in the uh, Austin and South Austin. It's just better continuity and better grade in that zone. That's uh, our gold resource broke down by uh, by zone. And you can see about 55% of our resources sitting in the Austin, about another 30% sitting in the South Austin. We've got strong and growing production. There's three of our guys there. We've, uh, since January this year, our total reportable injury frequency was sitting at 9.1. We're sitting at 3.6, so we've driven safety. And we'll continue driving safety. We've just done uh, 128 safe days there. Um, we've got a strong environmental performance. Continue building positive uh, community relations. We're on track for a record uh, tonnage and gold pour for Q3. We just poured our uh, record month in uh, the month of August at 4,500 ounces. And we're on track to uh, achieve a sustained positive site level uh, free cash flow for Q3, Q4. Um, yeah, like I said, we've got exceptional, uh, we're on track for an exceptional third quarter. Um, we've hired some key resources in our tech services team. I've got a couple of them here. 
Uh, we've got key infrastructure projects going on, just uh, put in our new compressors. We've got a bunkhouse going in. And we've got unconstrained growth potential. So we've got a First Nations agreements, fully operated mine and mill, and the mill can be expanded. We've got uh, good tailing storage. Excessive, uh, excess water treatment cap uh, capacity, we're permitted, and we've got a robust and growing resource base. We've also got a historic shaft, 1,275 meters deep. Uh, we're currently pumped down to about halfway, and uh, all the infrastructure is in the head frame for, uh, for the hoisting plants. We've got unconstrained growth potential within the underground. We've got two portals, east and west portal. We're uh, currently evaluating joining those two portals up. One's a historic portal from 1996, um, and we've currently uh, got a brand new portal on the east side at about four and a half by four and a half. And uh, we've got good agreements uh, with our First Nations partners and, uh, and the local community as well. We've got a deep value opportunity. Uh, looking at the junior gold players, they're averaging a net worth of about 900, 900 million, and our uh, our value right now is sitting at about 151 million. So, uh, good potential, good potential, sitting at uh, just under two million ounces with an operating mill. So like it says, our story's just begun and we're on a turnaround uh, like no other. <laughs>